hobbsine.com and joined by, as you can see, the ginger legend, Hello. Ginger Wolverine, Stuart Picard from Ginger Red Ale Trail. We are here on location at Bad Company. We Bad are Bad. In, uh, in Dishworth in um, North Yorkshire. We're here to brew a beer. As you can see, you, you can see, we're, 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 we're very stout. We're covered in um, kind of oh, flour malt from, the, uh, from the malt. Yeah. So, we've, so we're mashing it at the moment. And the beer that we're going to be brewing today, based on an idea that Stuart had, um, Stu's idea was something similar to Madeira Brown Ale yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, by Cigar City. So, but we've taken it up a bit. We've kind Yorkshire, of Yorkshire-fied it. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. So um, it's uh, an Imperial Brown Ale. I'd say I think it's about seven, seven, eight percent. Yeah. Can't got that sussed out quite yet. Um, about six, seven. Yeah, yeah. So a big, big brown ale mm. with coffee, um, and we're also gonna. It's gonna go in various uh, um, wooden barrels. Initially, it's going to go, I know, definitely in uh, Heaven Hill uh, bourbon barrel, which is really exciting. The kind of concept um, kind of came yeah. from, well, from you having that idea, and also yeah. um, and Paul, who's the uh, owner and head brewer here at um, Banker, he offered um, for his mate to come and um, cook for us. Who's he, he was the he's and the, Emma. Uh, yeah, he's a champion um, barbecue chef, which just sounds fantastic. So we've kind of made this twist that it's this like perfect beer to go with yeah. cooked meats. So big, sticky, robust, full flavoured, full bodied um, coffee really brown good. ale. And it's going to go in bourbon barrel and potentially Isla whiskey barrels yeah. and all sorts. Let's go. So yeah, so we'll see you inside in a second. actually doing some work, me and she were going to drink some beer. So first one that um, Paul sought out for us is, um, it was actually an experimental um, blueberry sour. Mm. Didn't, have, didn't have a name, didn't have a, um, a, 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 I don't know the ABVs or anything like that, but we've got a glass of it, we cracked open a couple of old bottles of it. Yeah. So as you can see, that kind of... Soppy white head. Yeah, very cool, kind of nice. sandy looking, yeah. kind of hazy beer. So Quite cloudy, peachy colour. You do get loads of blueberry. Yeah, definitely blueberry. It's, there's the sharpness of um, slightly under ripened blueberries, but then there's also like a slightly jamminess. I yeah. Think. Anyway, yeah. Let's, let's, cheers. Slight dryness initially. Yeah. The blueberries, nice sweetness balance. That reminds me of the muffins. Mm. Like Absolutely, that. yeah, blueberry muffin, yeah, but, but with a little bit of, kind of mm. slightly acidic lemony bitterness yes. as well. A little bit of a nice spongy texture to it. Mm. That's nice. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? 
Days and Confused, this is the beer that me and Stu yeah. drank at a Leeds um, Camera Beer Festival. It's a milk stout, but this is the version what was aged in bourbon yeah. barrels. So, as you can see, not quite kind of opaque, a little bit of kind of brown around the edges. Lovely bit creamy, as you, as you just said, it looked like a... It's an ice cream floor. Yeah, an ice cream floor, yeah. But that's fantastic. It, it, says, it's quite, it, it says it's quite a young version. Yeah, loads of... Fresh oak. I mean, I get more fresh oak than I get mm. kind of, kind of sweetness of bourbon. I and mean, we just had some really beautiful uh, barbecue, yeah. and you definitely get those like uh, cindered meats aromas there. You do, yeah. Yeah. Slightly nice. kind of. I've got the, yeah, that kind of coal, um, kind of burnt carbon there as well. Jeez. Oh, that's nice. Come on. See, th I think this. I know we, we really enjoyed the other one, but this is, I think, got more going on as well. I think there's just absolutely bags of flavour in this. It just reminded me of the uh, wooden barrel oh. version of oh. Celebration by Saltaire, but yeah, wooden notes there, there's different yeah. varnish, a little bit of um, jam quality, mm. but yeah. Cran cran I'm getting like cranberries and mm. um, bitter dark chocolate. It doesn't. This is, I mean, uh, I'm speaking to Andy from the barbecue, and this would work well with some nice barbecue food oh, yeah. as well. Yeah, because it's Especially got chicken. It, I mean, it, I think this is a bit more like beef or something because it's it's got a lot of stuff going on here. There's quite a bit That's of poke just... to it, really, isn't there? It really is. See it, buy it. Yeah, stunning. 